Hey everyone, welcome to the next Browder tutorial, particularly we're going to look at tutorial number 18, which is finally getting to 3ds Max. So 3ds Max modeling, we're going to import and apply textures to our model, and these will be specifically models that are compatible with 3ds Max, and which will also be easy to uh, port to uh, the RSM. So again, applying textures to models, importing the models, and UV unwrap them to have it ready for row. And this is how it's done. So let's actually get a model. So I have a model here called Dodge Car. So let's actually go get one, which might be easier for us. So I'm going to go to Turbo Squid, which I got my previous, or actually got the Dodge Car. So here it is NASCAR Caught Dodge Avenger, whatever, right? And you notice that this is it right here. I just clicked the free, once I found it, it is a free model. I just clicked the free download like that. Who cares the the add to cart? And I downloaded the 3DS, not the Max, the 3DS version. In there will actually come with your model file, which is the uh, .3DS right there. You'll also have a variety of other files. Let me just reorganize this. Type. You'll get a variety of files, the DDS files. So if you ever seen a DDS file, these are actually texture files, which can be exported as BMPs, which is what we're going to want to do. So how did I get my DDS files to BMP, as you can see here? All I did was I used a site, it's called Online Convert. You convert any kind of file that it supports, which is DDS, and here's all the supported files, which is you know, a crap load of them. You can support these, and then convert it to BMP, whatever you want. So I just browse for my DDS file, let's say it was, see small one, EMV, whatever that is, and I hit Convert File. And right there, it'll convert everything to BMP. Whenever of any kind of supported image file to BMP format, save it on your desktop, you're done. And I did that for all of these here. All right. So the 3ds Max version I'm going to be using is 8. So if you do not have 3ds Max 8, then you can either a get that by your means of doing that, or using a later version. I do not support the later versions. I'm only going to support 8. So it's your responsibility to know how to do that. How to work with them. Alright, so let's start up 3DS 3DS Max 8. Alright, so here's 3DS Max 8, as you can see it on. And I'm going to import the model. So file, import, should put my desktop, dodge car, just put that in file, and there it is, 3DS. Import is yeah, for 3DS files, and these are all the files that it supports. So if your model file is not this then it's most likely not supported and you'll have to either convert it to a supported file and that's all I can really give you. So stick with 3DS and you'll be good. So let's just double click that. Just hit OK. Merge object. That's fine. Hit OK. And you'll get this. So how do I actually move around the screen? You can either look up tutorials for that, but I would get, I'll tell you it anyways. Just hold the middle mouse button and then drag to drag your camera from side to side. But what if you want to uh, rotate around the car? Hold Alt and then just drag. And there you go, you'll be looking around. To zoom in, just scroll in and scroll out. And that's how you look around. So what is the first step to actually you know, applying textures to a car? Well, if we have a variety of textures. So the first thing is to go to your material editor. So let's actually get the textures in. So just click M, the M key. And you'll have all these circular orbs kind of things. So because we're going to be working with BMP, let's add a BMP texture. So under Diffuse, Click the box right here, select BMP, just double click that. Now browse on your desktop for the BMP file that you converted from the DDS file. That should be in my folder Dodge. And we're going to import cot underscore dod, whatever that is. And make sure this show, show map in viewport is selected. And that's it. So how do we actually apply the model? So just click the model like this and then drag. And there you go. So you'll notice that I just click the model. Notice that e the model is separated into parts. So that's one part. That's another part. The wheels are apart. The windshield and the, and the surrounding area is apart. But because we're working with the car model that surrounds like the frame, that's what I selected. So what about the wheels? Let's get the wheels in. So add another texture. Click another orb or sphere. Diffuse. And we're going to add another BMP. And we're going to add the, the wheel, so tire. Just double click that, and there it is, it's in. Take the texture of the orb, drag, and drop it on the wheel. You'll notice that it doesn't it doesn't show it, but once you click this blue kind of box thing, it shows right there. 
and just repeat for each piece of the model and this is exactly how you texturize it. So notice I'm just clicking each part of the model, just left clicking, dragging and dropping my textures and you'll notice I'm actually almost done the entire car frame. And I wonder if the windshield is another part. I'm pretty sure it is. It looks like it's already been textured, but let's just try that. So I'm going to click the windshield part, add another uh, another model uh, texture. Now texture just right there, diffuse, bitmap, caught wind, which is another model texture, drag and drop. Whoops, that's the wrong spot. There. All right. So it looks like it, 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 was a, it was the texture for the model. So to click that, make sure that your blue thing is selected, and now the texture should show on the model. And that's it, you've just successfully textured your model. Pretty simple, huh? So now that we've texturized a model, how do we know that the model will look exactly like this in game? And that has to do with UV mapping. UV mapping is really the idea of coordinating where the texture goes on the model once the road client reads the model itself. Sure, it looks great and dandy in uh, 3ds Max, but in game you'll see your textures all over the place if it's not UV mapped correctly. So how do we actually UV map this entire model? Well, there's a very easy thing to do. If you go to, let's find it here. Um, let me find it one second here. It should be under modifiers. UV coordinates, uh, coordinates, and unwrap UVW. Just like that, you'll see all this stuff here. So let's edit this. Click edit. And there you have it. So you'll notice that all my textures, which is applied to each piece of model, are within this box. As long as your textures are within the box, it should be good. That's the important thing. You'll notice that if you import other models, you might see like the texture pieces would be outside here. Just ignore what I'm doing there, but you'll see like pieces outside there, maybe even there. And it could be, you know, all over the place rotated. So that's a bad thing. You want to keep make sure that all your pieces are within the box, or else it's gonna look really bad in game. So to do that, it's really simple. Just use your select tool and you can drag and drop and resize the each piece back in the box. Alright? So let's just say we had a piece outside the box, just to you know for for, for for the sake of that. All right, let's take this guy out. No, oh, that's attached. We want to find a piece that's not attached. All right, so let's let's take a UV unwrap of the wheel, at least these these wheels here. So if I go to edit mesh, so edit mesh, modifiers, UV coordinates, UV unwrap, select the tire, just like that edit and there it is. You'll notice that it is within the bounds but we do have a box right there. So let's take this box let's move it back inside the uh, so move, select and move it inside. Oh crap it's, it's attached. There. Move it inside the box. We want to keep each piece inside the box and you could check it to make sure that you know the texture is still, is still looking good in 3ds Max. It looks okay we're okay, and we have all the boxes or all the pieces inside the box. You'll notice that this thing is just on the edge, so we could try to, you know, scale that down just a bit. So hit scale, select the area, and just scale it down just a bit. So now, you know, the whole box is inside the area, which is fine. And it looks like our tires are, that particular tire is okay. So just repeat this for each piece of the model, or each piece, of, yeah, each piece of the model, just to make sure that you know, your UV unwrap is state of the model textures is inside that box. So I did that right there. Edit. Do the same thing. I'm going to take this guy. I'm going to move it. Just like this. I'm going to grab the whole thing again. And scale it down. Just a bit. So it's inside the box. Great. And, you know, just keep doing it for each piece. And, um, and then I will turn back to you guys with this uh, particular model. All right, so I just finished unwrapping each piece. The tires should be done. So, unwrap, edit. So you notice that all the tires are well within the box. Texture alignments are looking great. Nothing's looking bad. Sure, the textures for the particular model looks like a little pixelated, but that's just how it came out to be. Um, actually, you know what, the back looks a little off. But overall, it looks like it's in the model is in okay shape. So, 
Yeah, so once you've done that, just save the model. Oops. Export. Just, you know, recall call it whatever you want. Let's just call it Dodge Car for simplicity's sake. Preserve, yes. And we've just successfully textured a model, sorry, import a model right here. Texturized it, UV unwrapped it, and saved it. So the next thing to do would be to convert this model to a RSM, which is built inside the Brow Edit uh, tool, the, the mapping software. And then in the next tutorial, I'll show you how to split models due to their poly due to the polygon limit of a real client. So the Ragnarok client is limited when it comes to rendering models. If you exceed a certain polygon count, which is the pieces that makes up the model, it will actually crash your client on the spot. So to, s to make sure that doesn't happen, you split the models. And I guess I'll show you how to convert to an RSM as well, since that kind of goes with this tutorial. All right, so it's pretty simple. So we've already saved the you know 3ds file. So it should be on my desktop right there. I'll just put it there. So let's actually open Brow it. So here it is, Brow it. Just starting that up. Open up any map. Does not matter. Actually, I'll, sh I'll open up my space map, which I'll I'll give you a preview of. That I'm actually working on. I guess I could show you guys this. So this is going to be released soon. So. I can't. Yeah, so. Anyways, so tools, convert 3ds to RSM, find your 3ds file we saved, should be my dodge car, uh, dodge car 3ds. Just click that, and let's get rid of this piece here. Just resave it. And done. So it should be finished writing that. And what if I try opening up the 3DS file just to see how it looks like? So if I go to uh, RSM Editor, Open, Dodge Car, great. So it's looking for these particular textures. And to do that, add your textures to Brow Edit. And I'm sure you could figure that out because my other, other tutorials explains that. So let's actually add these textures, and I'll be right back with you. All right, so. Just finished adding my mo my model textures, just the three ones that we've worked with. The tire over here, the window, and the overall frame. So let's go back to our Windows, RSM Editor, open the RSM that we just saved. Tire, so find your tire. Caught dog. Window. And window. Wow, there's a lot of windows here, that's for sure. All right. All right. Let's go back here. What the the reason why I was not working out was I had to actually flip the texture. That's the only reason why I was not looking good. So all rocks, cho all rocks, showed me this uh, this thing that you should always keep account of is you rotate, you flip, your t you pretty much flip your textures vertically. So flip it vertically, resave you do that for each texture you've used in your model. I don't know why it does this, like why this is uh, important, like when it comes to the, how the texture is acquiring each piece, but for some reason you need to do this. So save that and the tire. Well, tire look, looks okay, but I'll do it anyways. So rotate, flip vertically, save. Now let's uh, actually re-add these textures to brow it. Okay. All right, so I just re-added my textures after I just uh, flipped them vertically using MS Paint. Let's go back to the RSM editor, open up Dodge Car, test it. Tire with tire, dot with dot, window with window, dot with dot, window, window, and window with window. That looks a lot better. So that's what you need to consider. Whenever you add a new uh, custom texture, and, and even though you know when you did the UV unwrapping, even though you kept it inside the box, and then when you when you poured it into uh, browed it, it looks wrong with the texture alignment because you have to flip your textures vertically. So do that, and it looks like the textures have aligned perfectly. 
it looks great actually. It doesn't even look pixelated, so it looks really, really uh, fantastic. Yeah, you can see the back of it is uh, it's supposed to be mirrored. You can you can fix that as well. Just now, now you just gotta flip, uh, uh, horizontally flip the texture so it's a mirror image of it to fix the sides. But overall, that's about it. So after you've done that, just hit save. If you want to overwrite this file, say OK. And now you could actually uh, use this model in Browdit. So if I just you know quickly add this to Browdit, one second. All right, so I just successfully added the model to Browdit. So let's go and find it. Here it is, car. And there it is. So you could see that we have successfully placed the model into Browdit. You can rescale it down to whatever you want. And you could actually use this model. As long as the polygon limit is uh, is within the row client's you know limit, and I'll show you what that is in the next tutorial. Okay, so that's it. How to texture UV and wrap, import models, export as a as an RSM, texturize it in RSM at edit mode, the Browdit tool, and uh, actually using it in your map. So I'll see you guys on the next tutorial, and we'll talk soon. Take care. Bye.